the next system development approach we're going to look at is the customization approach. Now, in this approach, basically the development team obtains a working model for the potential system. Now, this working model, okay, is then modified into satisfying the requirements of the organization they're developing the information system for. So, what they might do is either one of two things. They may get the existing information system that that organization already has and then kind of modify and update it to meet the technological needs or availability of new technology that is now out on the market. Or they may also look at third party developers and find a similar piece of software that they can either A, purchase from that developer, okay, or look for an open source licensed piece of software that allows you to edit its source code. And they can use that and then customize that to meet the requirements Okay, for the information system that they're going to be developing. Okay, but they've got to make sure that they're meeting the licensing agreement if they are obtaining this from a third party. Okay, for example, okay, a very common practice with mobile phones is the actual developers get an either Android or um, Linux based operating system which has one of these open source codes and then they modify that source code so that it suits the phone it's being built with for. Okay, so this basically saves the team a lot of time because a lot of the foundation programming is already done. They just need to customize it, okay, in order for it to be working on that phone. So it saves them a lot of time and a lot of money, okay. So it's a great approach for system development in that area. But let's graphically take a look at how customization may look. So we have our understand the problem stage. The developer still needs to know the actual requirements of this system. So they interview the participants and survey them and find out what's required for this information system we're going to be building. They'll have a look at the existing information system that probably is in that workplace. Is that something they could customize and update with new technology? That could be the new information system. And the other area they could look at is basically third party systems other developers have created. Can we get one of those purchase one of those off the market or find an open source um, information system and we modify that to meet the requirements of the organization we're developing this information system for. Once they have made that decision and have a base information system, okay, they then have to customize that system. So the system is modified into the new information system. Okay, so basically what they need to do is apply these requirements that they found at the understand the problem stage to either the existing system or to the third party system they've purchased in order to meet the needs of the participants. So I hope this has given you an understanding of how the customization approach works in system development.